Welcome back to another week of Miss Nicole's story time. I am so happy that you're able to join us this week. Before we get started though, let's go ahead and do our check-in. So go ahead and feel free to take a couple seconds to yourself. You need to close your eyes or take a deep breath. Take a look around you, take a look outside, who's around you, what's around you, colors, tastes, smells, and just do a little bit of a check-in. As for me, of course, you know I am always at a zero because I'm always excited to be reading to you every week. So if you're one, you are happy, two, you're content, so that's, I'm okay, three, you're sad, four, mm, we are mad, five, Oh, we are frustrated. But you know that any number you feel is not wrong. There is no wrong way to feel. I just hope that I'm able to put even a little smile on your face by the time we're done with our story. All right, friends, let's go ahead and get into our story time schedule. So we're going to start with our hello song, and then we reach our arms and hands up for our books to the ceiling song. And then we'll move on to our first new song, which is called Planting Time. And then we're going to get up and move and shake our sillies out. And then it'll be time to read our story of the week. Then we're going to do our second new song, which is called I Winker. Then our clapping song, which is our good books, good time song. And then it will be time to sing goodbye. Ready? Let's go ahead and start with our hello song. So let's get your hello hands out. It could be tiny hellos, really big hellos. I just want to say hello to you and give you the opportunity to say hello to me. So here we go. We're going to do it twice. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. I hope that you are too. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. I hope that you are too. Good job. Now we reach hands and arms up for our books to the ceiling song. Here we go. Books to the ceiling, books to the sky. My pile of books is 10 miles high. How I love them, how I need them. I'll have a long beard by the time I read them. Good job. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to our first new song of the week, which is called Planting Time. Feel free to move and follow along with me. And it's to the song, row, row, row your boat. Dig, dig, dig the earth. Then you plant your seeds. With gentle rain and bright sunshine will help your flowers grow. Good job. Now go ahead and find a comfortable open space to move around in because we are going to shake our sillies out. Gotta shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. And wiggle my wackles away. Now we clap, I gotta clap, clap, clap the crazies out. Clap, clap, clap the crazies out. Clap, clap. Crap the crazy down, wiggle my waggles away. Now we jump, I gotta jump, 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 jump the jiggles off, jump, jump, or bounce in your seat. Jump, jump, jump my jiggles out and wiggle my waggles away. I gotta yawn, oh yawn, yawn my sleepy zone, yawn, yawn, yawn my spirit, you know, yawn, yawn, yawn my sleepy zone, and wiggle my waggles away. Yeah, 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 I got to shake, oh the shake, shake my sillies out, shake, shake, shake my sillies out, shake, shake, shake my sillies out, wiggle my waggles away, one more big shake, here we go. Good job, friends. All right, friends, now that we have all of our silly shaken out, go ahead and find your comfortable reading spot as we settle in for our book of the week. If you caught last week's story time, it talked about being a purple person and what that meant to be purple didn't actually mean that we paint ourselves purple or wear purple clothes but you can wear purple clothes we talked about what it meant to really be purple 
Now, if you remember, one of the ways in which we can be a purple person is ask a lot of questions. And it just so happens that the title of our book this week is a question, and it has to do with your imagination. Our story of the week is called What If by Samantha Berger. With a pencil and paper, I write and draw art to create many stories that come from my heart. How many of you like to write and draw and create pictures with colors? I do too. What if that pencil whoosh, one day disappeared? I'd fold up the paper till stories appeared. So what did our friend do? Our friend used paper and folded it into, what animal do you see that is? Looks like a unicorn, huh? So she made a unicorn without using a pencil. And what if that paper was no longer there? I'd chisel the table and then carve the chair. But now if you look instead of a paper airplane, she carved a wooden airplane. And what if there wasn't a chair here at all? I chip and I peel at the paint on the wall. What does that look like to you, friends? What is she making? What if there wasn't a wall anymore? I might build a story from the boards in the floor. Or I could still use the land and sketch out a tail in the dirt with my hand. First she uses the floor, then when the floor disappears, she uses the dirt and she draws and creates her stories from there. I could still shape the lead. I could still sculpt the snow. How many of you have wanted to build an igloo? Well, that means that you are an artist creating something. I could still plant the flowers and make kingdoms grow. Hey, isn't that what we did in our first new song of the week? Planting time? We were planting seeds too. And that means we were also creating something. And what is she making out of the sand? That's right, if you've ever built a sand castle or even just played around, then guess what? You were creating. Without any land, I would still use the light, invent shadow stories the sun would ignite. See, just a little bit of a shadow behind me. Pretty cool, huh? She's making shadow puppets. If there was no light, I would still use my voice to sing out my stories, to chant and rejoice. I may not be singing right now, but this is me using my voice to tell stories for you. I'd still have my body to twist and to bend, to dance out my stories beginning to end. Hey, isn't that what we do when we're shaking our sillies out? We're creating a story, aren't we? Right? Because we clap, we jump, and this is showing us that we are tired and it's time to yawn. Believe it or not, we are always creating a story. If I had nothing but still had my mind, there would always be stories to seek and to find. If I know nothing but one bit of fate, if I know nothing but one bit of fate, as long as I live, I will always create. As long as I live, I will always create. The end. Well, friends, how cool was that? Did you know that you can create works of art without using a pen and paper? You're creating art just by talking. You're creating art by dancing. Even if you're dancing by yourself in a room and nobody's watching you, you're telling a story by dancing. If you're just clapping or maybe clapping with a friend, you are creating a story. There is no right or wrong way to create art as long as it's coming from here. And I know everyone has an imagination. So remember, you could be an artist without having to learn to draw. I don't know how to draw, or I don't draw very well, but I'm creating something here by telling you a story and by the songs we sing. When I sing, when I act, I'm creating stuff too. If you guys are playing sports or are in band or any kind of music, you guys are creating. Let's go ahead now and do our second new song of the week, which is called I Winker. Now, no, it, you don't have to wink your eye, but all it is is naming the different parts of our face and what they do, because guess what? Your eyes and what you see help you make stories. Same with what you smell, what you taste, what you hear, and what you touch. So feel free to follow along with me as we do eye winker. Eye winker, and we point to our eyes. Tom, tinker, point to our ears. Nose smeller, point to the nose. Mouth eater, point to the mouth. Chin chopper, chin chopper, chin chopper, chin. 
We could do that last bit one more time. Tap your chin. Chin chopper, chin chopper, chin chopper, chin. Good job, friends. Let's go ahead and get into our clapping song, which is our good books, good time song. So let's get a beat. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Here we go. Good books, good times, good stories, good rhymes, good beginnings, good ends, good people, good friends, good fiction, good facts, good adventures, good acts, good stories, good rhymes, good books, good times. Good job, friends. Round of applause. All right, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. And I had so much fun creating art with you. And now let's say our goodbye song. Bye-bye, goodbye, bye-bye, bye-bye, goodbye. I can clap my hands. I can stamp my feet. I can clap my hands. I can stamp my feet. Good job. for joining me this week. I love how we are always creating something new every week. And we'll go ahead and see you next time. Bye friends.